Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, the pot stove life here, Ryan, AJ. The reason why I'm introducing this video is because I brought a bourbon from my house that I went out and bought. We've promised that we're not gonna make any lewd or crude jokes during this entire video. I we promise. weren't crossing fingers. We promise. I because promise. the name of this bottle is the one and only <laughs> Chicken Cock. Right there in big letters, chicken cock. Big. But it is Kentucky straight bourbon. Big letters? Big letters. Oh, big enough a, is what she said. <laughs> is it an oxymoron? Chicken, um, big. I don't understand the metaphor because I don't know anything about big and cocks. So, <laughs> this is uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It is 45% alcohol. What did you think this was supposed to be flavored like? Initially, I thought it was a play on words, but. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so, chicken cock. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> No jokes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. We'll get through this one. All right, right. chicken cock bourbon. This is an old rooster here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is where we bring phrasing back. <laughs> this video right here is where phrasing comes back. From now on. So this old rooster actually, it's an old brand. It was established back in 1856. It actually made it through prohibition, I think a little bit illegally, but it was shuttered back, I think in the 1950s. And surprisingly, I don't know if you realize this or not, I didn't realize until I was doing a little research on this. This was actually brought back by Grain and Barrel Spirits Company. So this is actually distilled, bottled, and shipped out of Kentucky but it's owned by Grain and Barrel Spirits Company. Okay. They're based out of Charleston, South Carolina. So this was actually brought back, I think, in 2016, uh, between 2016 and 2018. It's a source bourbon. It's actually being distilled by Bartown Bourbon Company, sourced and then bottled up there in Kentucky, shipped out. So it is a Kentucky brand, technically. It's just owned by a company in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. It's supposed to be pretty good it's, to give uh, it a it's shot. It's decently expensive, too. Like, this is like, six, I think it was like 63 bucks. It's depending on where you are, it might be different. But yep. um, for a bottle that is, what, seven feet? 50 mil? Yep. And that's, and to be honest with you, that is not uncommon, especially for sourced product because yeah. the, just the economics of sourcing a bourbon. So they're paying a distiller to do all this for them. And then they're getting the bottles and everything on top of that. So they don't have the economies of scale that like a wild turkey or a four roses or that something like that would have. So I expect it to taste better than like a $30. It may or may not. I don't know. I've never tried it before. Okay. So, so some source bourbons are phenomenal. Knock your socks off. Well worth, you know, twice the price. Some are like, eh. I could maybe find something a little bit just as good for three seventy five percent of the price from a from a big distillery. Gotcha. Okay. Well, because it's my bottle, I wanted to open this one. <laughs> Why don't you open? Ooh, that Ooh. sounds good. It smells weird. Well, I've never tried, smelled chicken cock before, so it might be a little weird. I don't want to get heavy handed like uh, like the director does. I, I do have to ask AJ. That's quite an interesting bracelet that you're wearing. So where'd you? Where'd you I forgot I had this on. <laughs> Uh, well, your mafia style kids made it for me and ah. told me if I didn't wear it, they would drag me out back and beat me with a wet noodle. I can believe that actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my your kids. little one's a mean one. Yeah, he is. Mr. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Woo. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's pungent. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but like that, that's hitchy in the, that's hitchy right in the old nostrils. Yeah. And that's definitely got, you can, you can pick up that ethanol. This is going to burn, I feel. But there's, there's a sweetness in there. I can't get past that gasoline like, smell. I mean, I mean, there's, there's definitely, there's a, there's a good bit of alcohol forward on the nose on that. I don't see it. It's not very oily either. It's not bad, actually. I'm getting a decent set of legs on it. You got to get just right in the light. Like I'm getting that vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. <laughs> you, you said vanilla? I mean, like, did vanilla? you read that off the bottle? No, I'm actually I'm picking up like a vanilla butterscotch. No reason. Like a dried fruit. Like, yeah, I, yeah, vanilla. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All there's right. some there's some richness in there. I, I, I do like those. Once you get past the alcohol on it, yeah. Which that's like, what proof? It's only 90 proof. That smells a lot hotter than it, 90. It proof. does. It smells like it's gonna. Burn my chicken yeah. cock off. Let's splash these together. And I see you pour me a lot more than you. All right, I'll even it up. I ain't no b word. Over the gums and through the lips. Lay out stomach. I can't do it on Here this one. Here we go. I can't do it on this one. Wow, that's pretty hot. Yeah. And then it went away really quick. <laughs> Maybe it's just because this is the first pour of the day for me. But it's a little that, thin. That burned right as it was going in, and then. Two seconds later, it was like I didn't even drink anything. Well, I, I can still feel it going down, but it isn't like I don't. I don't feel like it's coating the tongue as, as well. As no, it's not oily. It's it's a little thin. Yeah. It's um, you get that uh, that alcohol note up front. It comes a floral note, 
Right yeah. after that kind of goes from alcohol into floral. Yeah. Then a little bit of sweetness. The the finish, it's it's not a long finish at all. It is not. I mean it's it's actually gone kind of right now. A little vanilla. It's not it's not bad. No. It's just um it's a bit odd. I Me mean, personally for sixty bucks. Yeah. There's a lot better out there in that sixty dollar range that offer a lot more flavor. Um, yeah, but they don't come in this cool bottle. They don't come with a cool bottle. With and a cool name. It's thin. There's no other way to put it. It's thin. Yeah. And all it's, like, it's like one sided almost. There's like not. Uh, there's not a ton of flavor. There's really not. Like there's more. There's way more on the nose yeah. than there is on the palate. Yeah, and then when it goes to the mouth, like it says one side. So this, it's, there's like one flavor profile, a ton of burn, goes down the the old pipe, and then it disappears three seconds. It's not something that's like oh, it's, this is like dookie water, but like it's. I mean, it's pretty decent, well, but it almost make it almost leaves you feeling more. Like I paid sixty something dollars for this. I think I kind of want more. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it also, like I say, it's not a bad, it's not yeah. bad bourbon at all. I'm keep going back to it just to see if I'm picking something else up. And the more I go back to it, the less alcohol punch I'm getting, the less floral note I'm getting, just the less I'm getting overall. The flavor is kind of dissipating once I get to the third or fourth sip. Yeah, I'm getting hardly anything flavor wise. It doesn't taste bad. It just no. it doesn't. There's just not much there. I would yeah. say, in all honesty, I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for it. If you find it cheaper, maybe, and in all honesty, I wouldn't be afraid, if I was trying to finish off the bottle, to start pouring it in some old fashions and Manhattans, start making some cocktails oh, out of it. pretty good. Or if you just want a decorative Shaman. piece that's got a funny name, or if you just like chickens or cock, buy the bottle. I mean, it's a yeah. nice bottle. It's got a nice honeycomb chicken wire design on, on it, and it looks good when you shine the light through it. And, and, and don't let it fool you. It's it's not honey flavored. Not honey at all. No, it's not highly mistaken on that one. Yeah. Well, this has yeah. been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. We agree. Not worth sixty bucks. Take care, folks. <laughs> Till next time. Be safe. Enjoy. Yeah.